there, Dan Andritzi with hi there, Dan Andritzi with Remax, bringing you the local Santa Clarita Valley real estate update. We're looking at the month of March 2012, and we're going to be looking at some real general statistics, comparing those to March 2011, and try and identify some trends and patterns uh, going on in the local real estate marketplace. Uh, looking at uh, total listings, going to start at the uh, start at the beginning. Uh, total listings, uh, we have 724 available listings in the Santa Clarita Valley at this time, uh, compared to 1,166 this time last year. So, uh, significant uh, decrease in the total number of properties available to purchase. Um, our average list price has increased in Santa Clarita from 407 to 420 thousand dollars from March 2011 to March 2012. Um, our uh, total absorption rate, and again we've talked about this before, uh, absorption rate is one of the most important real estate uh, statistics we can use in terms of determining the health of the market. It's essentially real estate's version of supply and demand. So how long will it take to sell off the existing inventory at the current sales rate if no additional properties are put on the market? Uh, as we've discussed, anything above uh, 6% is considered a, uh, a strong buyer's market. Anything in the four to six month range, I think I said 6%, excuse me, anything over six months is considered a strong buyer's market. An absorption rate or a, a monthly inventory of four to six months is considered a healthy, balanced market. And anything under 4% is typically considered a seller's market, uh, meaning uh, demand is outpacing supply and within less than four months the current inventory will be completely gone. Uh, would it surprise you to know that in March 2012 our absorption rate for Santa Clarita Valley is 2.9 months. I'll say that again, 2.9 months. Uh, compared to this time last year that's a, a decrease of two months. We were at 4.9 months in March 2011. So you look at all these statistics holistically, uh, total number of total number of available listings is almost cut in by 40%. Uh, list price is has increased. Uh, absorption rate or the month's inventory has decreased dramatically. And then just anecdotally, the foot on the ground or a tip of the spear perspective amongst myself and my colleagues is uh, if you're looking to buy a house, you, you better be aggressive and be ready to compete against other people. I'm not saying prices are getting bid up uh, ridiculously like they were uh, seven and eight years ago, but uh, we are seeing multiple offers on properties and they're going quickly. So also, if you're sort of listening between the lines there, for sellers or someone who has considered selling, maybe short selling, uh, taking advantage of the $33,000 incentive that a lot of banks are paying for those who do a short sale successfully. Uh, if you are in that in that arena, uh, the, the takeaway there is that there's very little competition. So if you have considered putting your home on the market, now is a great time because you're most likely gonna be the only guy on your block uh, and, and further that's on the market and that can give you some nice leverage. So hope this has been informative. You can always reach me online at danielsellsscv.com. You can also reach me at findvalenciahomes.com. Uh, I look forward to speaking with you and helping you out. Have a great day.